Hey guys, John here. Today's pigments patch is a nasty one called the FM Death Base. Here we go. Okay, I think you get the idea for this one here. So this one's kind of nasty. So let's get into this one over here. Our effects we're using quite a bit here. So let's turn this off for now. The utility engine, we're using the noise two. Let's turn this off. We're using engine number two wavetable. Let's turn that off as well and take a look at the analog one over here. So basically let's turn off this FM here so we can see what's going on here. So for this one, we're gonna be using two oscillators, one and two. The first one is going to be a square. The second one is also gonna be a square, but this one is gonna be slightly moving from LFO one, which if we take a look at LFO one, we see that this is a free running. The rate is gonna be 0 0.093 Hertz. So it's a very slow moving wave. It's just kind of moving the pulse width over here, just back and forth to get a nice little sound to it, right? It's a nice change over time. So the first oscillator here is gonna be down by one octave and the second one is unchanged here. We're not using any unison at all, so this is basically how this one sounds off the bat. I'm gonna turn off the filter because it's modulated. But that's basically how, what we're doing with here. This one's getting sent to filter number one, which we're gonna talk about this in just a second here. Engine number two, let's take a look at this guy over here. So this is the sound we're getting without the filter. We're getting that type of sound and that's because we are using the wavetable mb2 duo pw which is going to be in synthesizers maybe about the was a fifth one down or something like that yeah fifth one down and we're not changing any tuning but we are adding some voices so two voices and the detune is at 2.94 so a little bit higher than the default to kind of get that nice dissonance So you can see that this frequency modulation is bouncing every time we hit a note, and that's controlled by envelope number two. So let's take a look at envelope number two. This is going to be one millisecond, decay 521, no sustain, and the release is 100 milliseconds, attack curve zero, decay curve negative two. So we get a nice little frequency modulation, just a quick little taste of that every time we hit a new note. And this one's getting sent to filter number one, so yeah, not too crazy here. Now let's take a look at the utility engine. So this one, we're just using analog noise and sending this to filter number two, which is just that. Which is nice because some extra noise, especially going through frequency modulation, it kind of it kind of makes things a little bit nicer with all the effects going on, all the filtering. It kind of just adds stuff a little bit more to the sound overall. We're using a little bit of this high pass here at 17%. And this analog noise, I believe, is default on the second one, which is why I use this one as opposed to looking for that same sample in the first oscillator. So with all that being, all that being said and done, let's turn on our engines here. So we have all three on. So that's no filters and no effects. But we do need to talk about the envelope VCA. The attack is one millisecond, decay 300 milliseconds, sustain 0.852, and the release 229 milliseconds, attack zero, or the attack curve is zero, the decay curve is negative four. So now let's look in our filters here. I don't believe we're using this one at all. So yeah, the first one we're gonna be using the Matrix 12. So we're kind of getting this modulation happening on the cutoff here. So we're modulating this with envelope two and keep in mind, if you remember, we're using that same envelope for the frequency modulation. So every time we hit a note, we get the frequency modulation, but we're also getting a little bit of cutoff modulation as well. At 0.25 for the envelope two amount. And we're setting manually our cutoff at 131 Hertz using the low pass 12 matrix 12, and the resonance is gonna be all the way down for manual, but it is controlled by macro number two, which is this guy res over here, which you can see this blue little dot is where it's actually sitting, as we can see the little bump over here. And no keyboard tracking. And keep in mind, all the way here at the bottom, this play mode is legato, so every time you hit a note and you're adding new notes while you're holding one, it's not gonna re-trigger these envelopes. So 
keep that in mind there. Next up, let's go to our effects and see what's going on over here. So we're using quite a bit here. Let's turn off B. Let's take a look at A here. Let's turn off these first here. Now, the first thing that's happening is this is getting hit by a multi-filter, which is going to be a notch 24. So take a listen to the difference. We're kind of getting that kind of happening at the very top end. And this cutoff is getting modulated by the same envelope too. So this envelope two is actually doing quite a lot of work and it's nice using the same modulation source for something because then you know everything's going to be more or less in time with each other. So like I said, notch filter here, the slope is going to be 24 and the cutoff manually, I set it at 5,236 Hertz and then modulate envelope two amount by 0 0.40. The cube is 3.91. We have full dry wet over here. Next up, we had an EQ. And this is more so a slightly corrective EQ, just taking out that mud that I cannot stand, which is 155 hertz, and that is at uh, taking out 1.89 dB, which is not much, but just a little bit to kind of clear things up a little bit. Next up, we hit a distortion. Make it a little bit more dirty, you know? Wiggle is going to be the algorithm for this. The drive is going to be 39.5 dB, and then this is going to be modulated by a macro number four, which is going to be also tied to the effects here, and the amount is going to be 0.35 or 35%. So from here, we have a good bass going. It's going to, it sounds nice. It sounds dirty. It kind of sounds crunchy. So here's kind of where we really bring it to life with the multiband, and then we also add some other effects here, which we'll talk about in a second. So without the multiband, then with... It just really brings it to life, electrifies it kind of right. And as I always say, this is to taste, to kind of move these bars until where you feel the sound is right, compress what you need to, or so on and so forth. Yeah. Next up, we have our delay here. Kind of makes it a little bit larger than life. Now the time is going to be one over eight. The fine is zero. Feedback 0.352. Stereo spread 0 0.040. High pass 191 hertz. Low pass 5,006 hertz. And the dry wet's not going to be too much. It's going to be 20%, and that's going to be tied to macro number four, which is the effects knob down over here. Last but not least, we're going to hit it with a little bit of reverb. And keep in mind that we are high passing this at 200 hertz and low pass is going to be 5,251. So pre-delay, 20 milliseconds, size 0.633, decay 0.231, stereo width 0.5, and the damping is going to be at 0.6. And like I said before, this is a low value at 18% if it's all the way to the top, which is going to be tied to macro number four down here called effects. So we got the cutoff here. We can change this if we'd like to. or the resonance, and a patch like this also works kind of nice with a sequence. It's a little fast for my taste, but uh, you can always slow it down if you'd like to. And moving on from there, we have the resonance, which is over here. And last, uh, last but not least, we have our frequency modulation. which makes this patch sound very disgusting. So this is going to be a N1 mod amount. So over here on the analog engine, it's gonna be this guy over here. So if we close the sound, we look here at the bottom, it's gonna be a zero manually, but we are modulating this by 0 0.50, which it's getting frequency modulated by oscillator number three, which is a saw wave going downwards and there's no change in pitch here. So modulating this knob here will yield some pretty cool results. Especially timed with your music. But yeah, so that's just me doing it on the fly. But yeah, if you draw in your curves all nice and cool like, you can get a pretty cool sound out of that one. So if you like this patch, you can get it for free in the video description below. Yeah, so hopefully you learned something, and thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.